Just two chicken. Jackie Dragon is shooting the bait. So there's um, a couple of more eels here. We were just filming the cuttlefish video and then we were fishing so the bait smell probably attracted them out. Um, they've been stealing our bait. We haven't had um, it tied on well enough so hopefully this worm on there will get them. Like this. And I've tried to catch more rays barehanded and on a fishing line with my hands before but they keep slipping out because of that protective slimy mucus. So I've got to put these gloves on to see if it, it might help me grip better because they're kind of coarse so hopefully it'll help me grip a bit better to be able to grab it but they, they never seem to get hooked on the hook we've got barbless hooks and they never seem to actually get on them because they all oh, yeah they're really um I don't know they, the way they eat they kind of pick it off so that's why I've got to kind of grab him when he's further far enough out of his little hole. Do they, they look there he is. I got him! You got him! You got him! You got him! Got Whoa! Him. You got him! Quick! Quick get him. The bucket! Get me! Ow! The bucket! Oh, don't work. Ocean. Can you sip some water out so it's a bit? Ah! Fuck. Not oh, I need to put water on him. I need to have the gloves so I can actually grip him. Ha! I didn't even have to use the bloody bait. Hey, buddy. Which is probably better that I didn't have to hook him because sometimes yeah, the nice get good one. stuck in the eel's throats. Now at our other. Um, at our other moray spot. At Mark's point, there's um, a bigger group of them than this, like two families. One of them's a, like a darker greyish black family, and then the other ones are a bit brighter orange than this guy. And I've seen some a bit bigger, but this is definitely an adult. This is a green boy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Settle, yeah. mate, settle. Put him back, leave him in the bucket, though. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, these more eight eels, right? Look at him. And they're beautiful creatures too, aren't they? They are. Some of them have even more beautiful patterns than this. And look, they so He's what angry. They yeah. <laughs> they sit there with their mouths open. What a happy chappy are you? Yeah, what he does, he'll sit there and they sit in their holes with their mouths open and agape. So they'll ah like that, and then when something comes past, they just grab it and they've got backwards facing teeth so that when they get stuck into something. It's really hard for it to pull away and rip out, which now they keep stealing our bait as well. They can also do death rolls. If yeah, they if, they, if they grab something and they like don't want to let it go, they'll do a death roll, kind of like a crocodile. And yeah, so they can actually, big ones can actually even rip people's fingers off. They're really strong animals. And there's actually living kind of communally sometimes. They'll live in a group, but not pay really mu that much social attention to each other. But they often live around the same area, like a little habitat kind of thing within a few meters and there's all these holes and what they do they kind of dig holes into the sediment or whatever their kind of surrounds are and um yeah they actually the way they seal the holes in so well is with their mucus because mores have the highest level of mucus um out of any other eels even more than the freshwaters which have a lot so what they, the mucus is for is also as well as to help them stick their holes together it's also so that it's a lot easier for them to get away from a predator, which is hard, why it's hard to grab with bare hands because our hands aren't as grippy as these gloves, so it keeps slipping away. And yeah, so they're really fast. I think there's another one down there. <laughs> um, and yeah, they're really fast. And these guys are carnivores, obviously. See if I can pick him up. Don't stress him out too I'm much, not. though, darling. I'm not. I'm being gentle. We don't want to kill him. I don't know. He'll be fine. I'm trying to show you a bit better. Here he is. Okay, he's had enough. Um, 
I think we got a fair bit of footage from him. Yeah, but this guy's a um a green moray eel. He's the species, but in a, there's another species called that. So they also call them the yellow moray eel, or the common Sydney moray eel. So they and yeah, they're very they're kind of common. But we've been seeing a lot recently. But before that, we hadn't seen been seeing many at all. We've caught a baby one in another video called um moray and saltwater eels caught by hand. Go check that out. But yeah, this is um, the first time I've caught a big, big fella like this. It's a big adult, more and more than, of course. So they're carnivorous, so they pretty much eat any of the bait they'll eat. And in the wild, without bait, they'll eat fish and prawns and cuttlefish, squid, pretty much just anything. Why don't you grab some they bait and feed across. him? Yeah. Um, Give him a feed. It's over there, darling. teeth in the open mouths but actually they don't attack people by provoking them because they see us as too big as prey but they will defend their burrow so if you stick your hand in a moray's burrow he's probably going to bite you and also if you're hand feeding them it's actually been banned in some places to hand feed moray's because when you're hand feeding them if your hand smells like a fish or if it just looks like an extension of the fish you'll just grab it and they can rip your finger off um, but really yeah, they don't just attack people for no reason so we'll just take a photo and then we'll let him go because he's getting a bit stressed. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna release this beautiful big um, green moray eel. Just take a look at him, they're beautiful creatures. And some people say eels don't have gills, but they actually do. Um, because they are fish. But yeah, people are always scared of eels, especially what <laughs> especially moray, but there's no reason for that. They're beautiful creatures. So I'll just let this beautiful big moray go right where I found him. Go on, mate. There he goes. There he goes. Look at him down there, back into his hole. And so, yeah, that was catching a moray. You're barehanded without a fishing rod, without bait, even though we were just a pout to and he just conveniently came out. So that's been a great day. Like the video, enjoy. We've also got Instagram at theanimalcatchers underscore official. Go check that out. So, yeah. Don't forget to subscribe and how yeah. about donations guys, that would be great because and it yeah, can fund donations. us getting a boat, can fund us having uh, some trips and catching yeah. a lot more animals. Yeah, we can catch a lot more some stuff if you donate. You can donate at Patreon or just through the donations button on our channel. So donate so we can buy a boat and we can catch some more amazing stuff like even maybe sharks. We can get a bit of fishing rods, we can go, we want to aim to go to Florida to visit our friends and also catch some cool stuff like rattlesnakes and alligators and snapping turtles. So. Go chuck us a couple bucks and yeah, see you next Okay guys, click the link in the top left to subscribe to the channel. Click the link in the bottom left to see a video that I selected for you. See the top right to see the latest video or the bottom right to see a video YouTube selected.